Oh shit. Hey guys, Blazin here. Today, in this video, I want to talk about Dead Space Remake and how I feel about it. Well, to sum things up, this game is awesome. I'm sure most people, including myself, were all thinking that Dead Space didn't need a remake as the original game is already still pretty good and it aged pretty well. But after playing this remake, this might be the new definitive way to play the game. Motive, the development studio, has done an excellent job remaking the original Dead Space game while adding new things that, for the most part, enhance the original experience. They've essentially pulled a Resident Evil remake with Dead Space. If you're unaware of Resident Evil remake or have never played it before, basically Resident Evil remake was so good to the point that it replaced the original game. That's pretty much the case with Dead Space remake. It's that fucking good. The overall story and plot points are still the same, with some changes that enhances the original narrative. Isaac now speaks in this game, which he has never spoke in the original Dead Space. Him speaking actually enhances the interactions between the other characters. You get to learn more about Isaac's past in this remake as well. Also from a gameplay standpoint, when Isaac stomps multiple times, he says way more mean words than he does in Dead Space 2 and 3. Kendra, one of the supporting characters, is actually not that much of a complainer in this game compared to the original. She's actually quite supportive towards Isaac throughout the majority of the game, and overall she's much better written in this game than the original. Hammond, the second supporting character, is pretty much the same, though his voice sounds more American than the slight British accent he had in the original Dead Space. This time in this remake, he has a bit more of an attachment towards the other two CEC officers that died in the beginning of the game, and vice versa. The other two officers were actually given names this time. Both Hammond's death and Kendra's reveal towards the end, where Isaac finds out Nicole's been dead the whole time, are quite different to the point where you should actually play the game for yourself and see what happens. Speaking of Nicole, she gets much more attention in this remake than she did in the original. Out of all the characters that's been recreated though, she's the only one I don't really like. Her face is older and in my opinion, they didn't nail her face right compared to Isaac, Kendra, and Hammond. I know. Remake Isaac doesn't look like the original, but in Isaac's case, that's okay, because this is supposed to be a younger Gunner Wright, who is literally the voice of Isaac. I know Tanya Clark, who voiced Nicole in Dead Space 2, and she was the face model for Dead Space 2, so I don't understand why they didn't make Tanya look younger for Nicole when they made Gunner look younger for Isaac. At the end of the day, this doesn't hurt the overall experience of Dead Space Remake, but I felt like I wanted to point that out. Anyways, like I was saying before, Nicole's story is a lot more expanded upon in this remake compared to the original. Other side characters like Jacob and Elizabeth also got their stories expanded upon as well. Dr. Mercer, who was kind of the villain in Dead Space, has been recreated perfectly and his entrance when you do meet him is excellent. If you've played Dead Space Remake, you know what I'm talking about. Much like I keep saying throughout this video, basically every character's story arc has been improved and Dr. Mercer is no exception. Lastly, Dr. Kine, who was like the only sane one left that wanted to help stop the outbreak, got an overall to both his appearance and voice. Other than that though, his purpose in the story remains intact and is still semi-loose in the head talking to his dead wife, Amelia. So those are my thoughts on Dead Space Remake's story. Overall, like I said, it's still the same story we all know and love, but it's greatly enhanced. Now, let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay pretty much mimics the later games in the series, Dead Space 2 and 3. If you go into the settings menu, there are a lot more options to choose on how you want to play, including a few preset control schemes. There's default control scheme, which is meant for people who have never played Dead Space before, DS1, which is basically the control scheme for those that played the original game, and the control scheme I prefer, DS2, which is Dead Space 2 and 3's control scheme. Isaac's movement animations are brand new. I didn't know how I was going to feel about them at first, but over time, his movement animations have grown on me. His punches pretty much mimic the other three games, and his stomps mimic Dead Space 2 and 3. Stasis behaves like you'd expect, however, the slow effect of Stasis definitely feels nerfed compared to previous games. 
Also, when pressing the stasis button, Isaac seems to be a second late to respond after launching a stasis projectile. Kinesis also behaves like you'd expect. However, I've noticed sometimes if you spam the Kinesis button too much, you won't grab anything until you stop for a moment, hit the button again, and it'll work. I've also noticed there's a bit of magnetism when launching explosive barrels. Not a fan of that because obviously I don't want the game holding my hand unless I'm on easy difficulty. Speaking of difficulty, I want to quickly mention that the impossible difficulty rewards are an exclusive suit and the goddamn finger gun from Dead Space 2. There is also a story difficulty for all those little bitches out there. Something else I want to mention is that the QTEs when getting grabbed by a necromorph is too easy. What's ironic is that there's a single QTE button option in the settings menu, but there isn't much mashing to do by default. Make me mash the QTE button more, Motive. It's too easy. Speaking of Necromorphs, let's talk about them next. The standard slasher behaves like you'd expect, however, I think they're missing a couple crucial animations when it comes to their gameplay. I think the slashers are missing their iconic oh, defensive crab walk when they crouch walk towards you, and they defend their faces with their sharp arms. More importantly, they're missing their crazy sprint animation when they're far away from you. Now I believe their crazy sprint animation is in the remake, but they don't seem to do it as often as they should. The spitters are much more defined, and you'll be able to tell the difference between a spitter and a slasher with time. The leapers, from a gameplay standpoint, feel slightly nerfed. They've got the right amount of health pool, but I feel like the leapers were just a bit more aggressive and faster in previous games than this remake. The lurkers are pretty much the same, so I have no complaints on them. The infectors are also pretty much the same, but this time their wings can be shot off, unlike previous games, so that's a nice update. The pregnants got an update to their gameplay. They actually run at you now versus the slow walk speed they had in the original game. The swarmers though, that come out of the pregnant, unfortunately their gameplay got a slight downgrade. They're a lot bigger, and their speed coming at you is a bit increased, but when latching onto you, Popping them is nowhere near as satisfying as popping them in previous games. Not only are there a few of them that pop, but some of them just come right off you. Isaac's animations when shaking them off is also less satisfying. The exploders behave like you'd expect, but their animations when they walk towards you seem less expressive. The brutes, for the most part, have been upgraded. The twitchers are pretty much like the original game, with one new addition. Lastly, the Guardians are also pretty much the same. However, one big nerf I've noticed on most Necromorphs, not all of them, but most of them, is that their classic audio noises they make are drastically lowered. Now some of them got new audio additions or changes, but their iconic audio screams that you would recognize aren't as prevalent, and I think that's a huge letdown. The perfect example I'll give is the Exploders. Everyone who's played Dead Space know that these fuckers, when they come in, are the loudest ones in the room. Unfortunately, in this remake, it is nowhere near as prevalent. Even the explosion physics when they blow up are not as impactful. Isaac doesn't even fly back when you get hit by one of these things either. And that's pretty much all I want to talk about with Dead Space Remake. Overall, despite any negative thing I've said in this video, at the end of the day, they're just nitpicks, and it doesn't hurt the overall positive experience I had with this game. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and share this video with your friends. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on Dead Space Remake, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, peace. Now before, you shouldn't be able to go up here first. But. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ah!